Hello and welcome everybody. Today's topic is adding value with colors from nature for pet food. And we are very excited to have you join us for this webinar. You are currently on mute. So if you have any questions at any stage of the webinar, please write them in the Q&A box and we will take some time to address these at the Q&A session after the presentation. Alternatively, you are also welcome to contact us via our exhibitor, exhibitor profile in the exhibitor hall tab. My name is Rikke Sagstrup Fransen and I'll be your first speaker today. I have a technical background in food science and nutrition and more than 18 years of experience working in different functions with nutrient premixes and natural colors for human and pet food. And today I work at Oterra with natural colors for pet food and are located in Denmark. My colleague Janice will introduce herself just before her part of the presentation. So adding value with colors from nature for pet food. Today we will take you into a small learning journey about the value of natural colors. After a short introduction to Oterra, I will focus on what's trending in pet food and then Janice will continue with natural colors explained and how to work with natural colors. And for those of you who might not know much about us, we are Oterra, the global leader in natural colors. And when it comes to color, we believe nature got it right the first time. We also believe that no one knows color like nature and no one knows natural colors like us. Our products are made from the best raw materials from nature and we are here to support pet food manufacturers like yourself with a consistent supply of safe, reliable ingredients. We provide all colors with the level of naturality you need and can help you with your formulation for any application. We've been doing this since our first color launch back in 1876, so more than 140 years. And we can help you open doors to new opportunities and exciting possibilities with natural colors. So wherever you are, you can rely on us for help, inspiration and support. We have an extensive global reach and colleagues who can help you produce compliant products for local markets or for export around the world. We have expertise centers in Germany, France, US, China, Dubai, Brazil, Mexico, Colombia, Singapore and Melbourne, more or less all over the world. And our experts here, they generate and share information internally so that no matter where you are, you have access to our knowledge. And we are servicing uh, three areas with targeted solutions and e application expertise, which is food and beverage, beverage applications, its dietary supplements, and of course, pet food. So let's have a look at what is trending in pet food. The trends that shaped 2021. Humanization, premiumization, family excitement, clean label, sustainability and digitalization, tech acceleration. Those are actually also the ones that will continue to have a major impact on the pet food market in the next coming year. And today, our focus will be on humanization, premiumization, clean label and sustainability. The humanization of pets will continue to drive development with healthy, functional, chef inspired and gourmet products in demand. Premiumization continues to have this massive influence on the industry and continues to take market shares from mid-priced and economy brands. Clean label has become increasingly important and sustainability remains a primary concern for pet owners with preferences for natural clean ingredients as a driving factor 
in the pet food choices. But let's have this deeper dive into the first one. Humanization of pet diets are products that often mimic human trends and lifestyles. Pet owners treat and consider their pets as part of their family. This is what drives the humanization trend. Pet owners has become pet parents and want their pets to have this central role in the everyday life, just as their kids. The amount of supply of items you can buy for your pets is beyond imagination. Last uh, week, I saw these very nice soap bubbles um, for cats uh, and popcorn and beer kits for dogs, you name it, not to mention food resembling food, uh, human foods such as cakes for birthdays or other celebrations. The percentage of pet parents who consider their pets to be beloved member of the family is pretty high globally. And uh, in fact, in Asia Pacific, 65% of pet parents is saying that they consider their pets to be a beloved member of the family. And this number is from a, a global lifestyle survey by your monitor. Last year, we saw that demand for natural, simple ingredients in pet food was strong. But according to market research from your monitor, humanization will move beyond pet food ingredients and the focus will turn to processing methods and also the physical appearance of pet food. It's clear that fresh, raw, frozen, freeze dried and gently uh, cooked pet food has made an impact. And so have pet, pet food toppers, mixers and in particular treats. Here are a few examples of how uh, the human eating trends are consistently trickling over into pet foods, with parent, pet parents wanting their pet's diets to match their own. Wet pet food and meal toppers are available in many innovative formats that resemble the cuisines of pet owners, such as soups, stews, purees, fillets, or any gourmet food. And also to the left is organic meal topper based on kefir, well known from our own human food. This is from a US brand Open Fart Farm and is made from a certified human 100% organic grass fed cows or goat milk fortified with vitamins and with active cultures and probiotics to help support digestion, bone health and immunity. Products that mimic human treats continue also to be popular. And here's just a few examples. First, the uh, Smoothle from Belgium. Uh, they specialize in uh, ice cream mixes you can make at home for your best friend. And now also with edible chew stick. And in the middle, the good boy brew for your four leg friends. You can either buy on their web page or you can get at some selected uh, beer pubs. And then last but not least, the Starbucks Popuccino that's been existing some time now as a free treat for dog, but it's just getting into the daily life. You go to a place like Starbucks, buy your coffee, and then you get a treat for your dog as well. Customized pet treats are also very popular. Milkgone from Smokers offers uh, this customized box for your dog. And on the brand website, you can go and choose a theme. You can select a flavor and upload an image of your dog together with your dog's name. And then you get this customized box with special treats for your best friend. Who does not want them? In fact, treats have seen unusual high sales as, uh, of course, pet, food, pet owners are spending much more time at home with their companions and also with training their new pets 
and 77% of pet owners in the US think that treats help to strengthen the bond with the pet. <clears throat> treats, dog treats remain the top subcategory in APAC within pet food launches past three years. And it's especially the snacks or treats with special designs to reduce uh, teeth plaque, soft jelly snacks, nutrient fortified or interesting formats that are factors boosting the new launches in the region. And while flavor plays this significant role in pets acceptance of a product, the key to get the pet parents to buy a specific product lies within the visual appeal, where we believe color has a significant impact on product perception. And a few examples here to visualize that. Uh, here you can see how fun and traditional flavors are visually supported by natural colors. For example, uh, the product to the left is a dental treat with honey, fennel and exotic fruit. In the middle, you see from Thailand a strawberry flavored dental stick colored strawberry red with carmine. And to the right, lollipops from South Korea with natural colors to visualize the taste of meaty dog treat with mint flavor. Also here, you see to the left, cheese and grilled chicken dog treats from Japan with monascus red and carotenoids. In the middle, peanut butter and cranberry cookies with natural colors from Singapore. And to the right, the iconic Ben and Jerry's ice cream brand. Now with doggy desserts with pumpkin and mini cookies containing natural uh, and natural colors. And just some more inspiration on how to use natural, well-known raw materials such as carrot and sweet potatoes, something that we eat ourselves every day to color those treats to mark special occasions or celebrations. Premierization, better for me is better for you. Premierization is strongly driven by humanization. Pet owners are increasingly buying added value products and healthier pet foods. Direct to consumer models and personalization will increase and value for money will shape consumer choices. Premierization is on the rise around the globe. <clears throat> Premium brands are considered high quality and worth more and includes tailor-made offerings that target a specific age, size, lifestyle or breed. Mid-priced and premium uh, dog and cat food are the driving growth in uh, Asia Pacific. And uh, increase this is related to the increase of owners with uh, high income and educational background. And the mid price segment will be a driving force for cat food in Asia, which differs from developed country uh, regions or countries where the premium segment is expected to lead the growth over the forecast period. As the name suggests, the US based brand uh, Fresh Pet makes fresh and healthy food for pets. Um, founded uh, back in 2006, the company already here they identified a gap in the market for healthy, sustainable pet food that looks and tastes like human food. And some reasons behind this brand success are the natural position of its products, the strong association of fresh with healthier nutrition. Its products offer these uh, sustainable and ethical credentials that pet owners desire. And the eye-catching products resemble human food and are sold in branded in-store refrigerators, just next to your own human food. Of other more recent premium market launches, you can find a few examples here. Calming support chicken strips from Australia, chicken both bone broth with hemp extract from US and functional snack from Japan supporting skin and hair for cats. Q 
clean label, pet parents demand simple ingredients. The demand for natural, simple ingredients in pet food is staying strong. The clean label will be driving, driven by sustainability and natural ingredients and sustainable protein sources and locally sourced offerings will becoming increasingly important. The demand for detailed information is even higher than ever before. And in UK, 73% of the pet food buyers put more trust in companies that share how they make the food. 83% uh, of US pet food buyers agree that manufacturers should do more to ensure the safety of pet food and treats. And 51% of the German pet owners say that brands should make it easier to track the origin of pet food ingredients, for example, through an app or web pages. <clears throat> no additives or preservatives is the number two top claim in pet food launches from APAC, um, just overcome by the convenience claim. However, the position and rank differently within the Southeast Asian countries. And you can see that the, in Philippines and Vietnam, the number one is high sources uh, of protein. And the number one in Singapore is indulgent and premium. Number one in Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia is skin health claims. And the <clears throat> number two in Vietnam, as well as Australia and South Korea is natural. So indeed, natural and no additives or preservatives are high, but also they can be combined with some of the other uh, claims. Here you can see an all natural salmon supreme dog treat from New Zealand. You can see uh, no artificial colors or flavors added to chicken um, gravy, dog food from Australia. And you can also see all natural low fat dog treats from the US. Sustainability. Sustainability is high on pet parents agenda and pet parents are looking for mission driven companies worldwide. It's partly linked to the fact that millennials becoming the most influential consumer in the pet industry and we see consumer demand for eco-friendly packaging and products increasing. Pet owners are the consumer group that are most sensitive to say, sustainability. They are more likely to buy sustainable made products that non-owners and look to make a difference in the face of the climate change. In fact, 57% of the US consumers say that environmental claims are important for pet food products, and this is actually higher than the human snack category. 38% of US consumers say that they trust environmental claims made by pet brands. Also in Asia, we see this trend. The dog grocer is an example of products from a so-called concept pet food store located in Singapore. They produce and sell good pet nutrition and special diets for pets, especially focusing on conscious choices in form of food sources like ethically raised grass feed and or free range animals, MSC certified fisheries, etc. And also reducing food, food waste and home compostable packaging is in higher focus for these products. You can read much more about this on their webpage or visit the store. Vegan and plant-based pet food is also becoming increasingly popular. In fact, in Nova reports that plant-based or vegan pet food launches are growing almost six times as fast as pet food launches past five years on a global level. Dog treats and snacks, they hold the largest share in plant-based vegan pet food and new sources of plant protein is making way into pet food. 
the traditional pea protein is the fastest growing in pet food. However, hemp protein is also on the rise. The trends we now have covered here are all making a difference, but they are even more powerful when brands bring them together. It's clear that the human dietary trends like health and well-being and using high quality, natural, rec recognizable ingredients that we enjoy in our own foods are shaping the future also for pet food. And with treats, gourmet dishes and vegan or plant-based options in demand, there's plenty of opportunities for differentiation. Colors from natural ingredients tap into these pet food trends and can help you and your product brand to stand out. When natural colors are effectively added to the equation, your products and brand can enjoy a distinct competitive advantage in a very competitive landscape. We will, of course, be very happy to help you stand out with pet food compliant colors from nature. We offer you the fullest possible palette of colors for pet food, vibrant, stable shades, extensive experience with pet food processes and their impact on color, regulatory support um, in terms so you can need, you can stay uh, compliant with the, the colors you use, global footprint and network to support you wherever you are. But which specific options you have and how to utilize them? This will my colleague Janice tell you much more about in the next part of the webinar. So for me, many thanks for your attention. You are always welcome to contact us for any questions. However, now over to you, Janice. For the next part, natural colors explained and how to work with natural colors.